dear students in this video we are going to uh, see about uh, the construction function and uh, uh, working of uh, front axle so the major unit on front part of the motor vehicle is front axle it takes the weight of uh, the front portion of the automobile it gives steering facility and absorbs shocks the weight of the front part of the vehicle is transmitted to the road surface through front wheels by the front axle of a vehicle. It also houses the mechanisms for steering the vehicle to absorb shocks due to the road surface variations. Okay, uh, let us see the construction uh, and the components of the front axle. So axle beam is a major part of the front axle. This is the axle beam. It is a major part. It is used to transmit the vehicle weight to the front wheel through the spring. A typical uh, front axle is shown here. Elaborates the front axle components with steering linkage. The ends of the axle beams are shaped in such a way that the as to that the way to assemble the stub axle. So this is uh, the stub axle and. Uh, the ends of the axle beams are shaped either as a yoke or plane surface with a drilled hole uh, to hold a swivel pin which uh, uh, is having a drilled hole connected uh, with the stub axle portion of the assembly. The wheels are connected on the stub axles. The inclined steering arms are located to drag uh, uh, the rod ends. The third steering arm is connected to the drag link. The steering linkage is connected to the drag link and uh, uh, to the drop arm of the steering box. So the main axle beam is attached to the stub axles by king pins. The front road wheels are connected on the three stub axles. The component of front axle or uh, axle beams, stub axle, swivel pin and track load. Okay axle beam <coughs> so this is the axle beam so this one is the construction of axle beam so axle beams are made by drop forging of steel having a 0.4 percentage of carbon or a 1 to 3 percentage of nickel steel so for any uh, topic you are uh, discussing or uh, studying uh, in automobile engineering the material used to made up of uh, made uh, that particular component is most important thing and you have to keep those things in your mind and of course uh, the composition of that particular material so the front axle beam is formed into i section uh, in the center portion the ends are made in either circular or uh, elliptical i section construction carries bending loads caused uh, by the load of the vehicle and the torque by breaking of wheels the center portion of the front axle is uh, provided a downward sweep to maintain the chassis height low. So this uh, axle beam is already hinged with stub axles. Springs are mounted on the axle beam at an uh, equal distance from its uh, center, known uh, spring pads or uh, seats. So next one is uh, king pin or uh, swivel pin. So this is the king pin. So the steering spindle and the steering knuckle assemblies are pinned at the end of the axle beam in order to permit wheels to be turned by. Uh, the, this pin is also known as uh, steering knuckle pin. It is uh, the pin uh, which are made up of uh, good quality case hardened steels used to secure the stub axle to the axle beam. So it is exactly located and located uh, locked by quarter pins in this uh, particular position. So next one is <coughs> track rod. So this is the track rod. So the two stub axles uh, arms of the front axle are connected to the end of the track rod through knuckle or ball joints known as track rod ends. So the connection is done by screws uh, to ensure adjustments. In the stub axle, left hand and the right hand threads are, threads are formed at each end Toe-in is increased by lengthening the rod and it is decreased by shortening the seam. So next one is pull rod and push rod or drag link. So this is the thing. 
So pull and push rod also called as uh, drag link is connected between a steering arm of the front axle and a drop arm of the steering assembly. But the cross section is uh, tubular. Spring loaded ball sockets are provided at uh, each end. So one end is connected to the steering arm of the stub axle whereas the other end is connected to the steering drop arm. So it is broadly classified uh, into two types. One is live front axle and another one is uh, dead front axle. Okay, let us see the function of uh, front axle. So it turns the front wheel easily. It provides a cushioning effect through a spring and it takes the weight of the front vehicle. It provides steering action. The spring transmits cushioning effect to the vehicle. It controls the ride through shock absorber. It takes the braking system. It transmits power of uh, proper power to the front wheels in case of four wheel drive. And uh, it carries both the hubs and wheels. So this question will be asked in uh, 13 mocks in a nine university examinations. Sometimes it will be asked in uh, eight mocks. Uh, if, uh, one, if it is uh, asked to explain only the construction of the front axle. So if you are asked to uh, explain the construction and uh, explain the types of uh, front axle and also the functions of front axle, it will be asked in 13 marks. So you, in that case, you have to draw this uh, diagram and also this one. Uh, Prepare well. Thank you.